KD Country 94 weather. Summer is almost here, and it's time to kick off the summer season in style with Wholesale Liquor in Beloit's last Friday first drink event this Friday, May 31st from 4 to 6 p.m. Enjoy food and drink samples and make sure to sign up for some cool prizes. Hungry? Food available throughout the day courtesy of Paradise Eats. Make sure to attend Wholesale Liquor's last Friday first drink event this Friday, May 31st from 4 to 6 p.m. on Highway 24 in Beloit and kick off the summer season in style with them. Here's a look at your local weatherology forecast. Storms likely today, otherwise cloudy skies. Highs around 75. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Overcast skies tonight, chance of thunderstorms 60. Overcast skies tomorrow, chance of thunderstorms. Daytime high is approaching 77. From the Weatherology Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki on KD Country 94. Right now, 68. Crumb Banker Oil and Feed in Beloit, formerly Shamburg Oil, is the place to stop for all your top quality fuel products, new tires, tire repair, and quality customer service. But don't forget, Crumb Baker Oil also has convenience items including ice, sodas, snacks, and more, and they also have dog and cat food. And at Crumb Baker Feed, they carry Hubbard feed products, stock tanks, and much more. They're your one-stop shop at Crumb Baker Oil and Feed, located on West Highway 24 in Beloit. The news this hour is brought to you by Anderson Insurance Agency. They do farm, home, auto life, and crop insurance. Stop by and see Matt and Becky, 118 North Mill in Beloit, or call them at 738-5701. Keeping you informed, this is KD Country 94 and Z96.3 News. USD 273 Beloit has the following press release that we would share with you. Beginning uh, next weekend, phones will be ringing across the district as a brief patron survey will begin. School district officials say the survey of district households will provide insight into what residents think about the district's strengths, challenges, and long-term facility needs. This survey will give us an opportunity, outstanding opportunity, to hear from a cross-section of our patrons their opinions about our performance and what our priority should be for the future, says Jeff Travis, superintendent. We'll hear from all geographic parts of the district, people of all different ages, and everyone from newcomers to long-term residents. The survey was designed by Excellence K-12, a Kansas City-based market research firm that has worked with school districts across the Midwest. The calls will be completed by Kansas City-based market research associates, a firm that uses only professional researchers. Participants will be selected totally at random, and all responses will be kept completely confidential. In general, calls will be placed between 7 and 9 p.m on weekdays and noon to 6 p.m. on Saturdays. A caller ID may show Market Research Associates, where it may simply show an 816 or a 913 area code because the company uses calling facilities in both Missouri and Kansas. For those who are not contacted at random on the phone, an online version of the survey will be available on the district's website. The survey process will take about two weeks to complete, and the district is asking patrons to listen for their phones to ring. We are very fortunate to live and serve in a community that values our schools, said Travis. If you get called for the survey, please answer and give your honest feedback. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly has made an announcement regarding her intention to exercise her constitutional authority as stated in Article 1, Section 5 of the Kansas Constitution. She plans to reconvene the Kansas legislature for a special session on Tuesday, June the 18th. The governor expressed her commitment to collaborating with the legislature in order to implement responsible and sustainable tax cuts that will benefit all Kansans. She believes that a special session presents an opportunity for bipartisan cooperation in achieving comprehensive tax relief without jeopardizing the state's strong fiscal foundation. Governor Kelly is optimistic that by working together, a compromise can be swiftly reached to provide Kansans with more financial resources. In the upcoming days, Governor Kelly will issue an official proclamation to convene the legislature for the special session. This proclamation will serve as a formal notification to the members of the legislature, informing them of the specific date and purpose of the session. By taking this step, the governor aims to ensure that the special session proceeds smoothly and efficiently, allowing for productive discussions and decision-making on matters related to tax relief. Have a job open to tell you about. City Summer Help is wanted in the city of Glen Elder. They're taking applications for summer maintenance help. This position includes mowing and weed-eating city property, helping with street repairs and other maintenance duties. Applicants must be at least 16 years of age and have a driver's license. Applications online, glenelder.com, or it can be picked up at City Hall in Glen Elder at 213 South Market Street, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, or you can call Devin at 545-5915. Today's community calendar is brought to you by Hard Choices Pregnancy and Parenting Resource Center, offering free pregnancy tests 
Wellness, Pregnancy Counseling and Parenting Classes, 6 to Independence in Beloit, and their satellite locations at Concordia Osborne Smith Center. You can call 738-3433 for an appointment or check them out at their website, heartchoicesbeloit.com. Glenn Elder is participating in the Highway 24 Garage Sales. If you wish to participate, fill out a form and return to Cunningham Fiber or Cindy Clausen. The cost is $10 per sale. Forms are available at Cunningham Fiber, or you can contact Cindy at 545-5265, and those Highway 24 Garage Sales will be taking place here tomorrow and on Saturday. That's the news this hour. For the latest local news information, visit our website 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, kdcountry94.com. And don't forget to download the free KD Country 94 app on your smartphone. Your number one source for local sports in north central Kansas. This is KD Country 94 and Z96.3 Sports. Out over the plate, left center field, and that's deep. Castro's back at the wall. A two-run home run for Velasquez. And the Royals have four in the third inning. And that's belted to left field. And Velasquez has his second home run of the game. Nelson Velasquez helping the Royals to a 6-1 to win on Wednesday night, ending a three-game losing streak. We'll have more on that coming up in this sportscast. A K-State and KU men's basketball player making decisions on whether to keep their name in or withdraw from the NBA draft. The NHL playoffs, the NBA playoffs, and an update on the French Open in tennis. All coming up in this sportscast on KD Country 94 and Z96.3 The Lake. As heard moments ago, the Royals ended their three-game losing streak Wednesday night with a 6-1 to win over the Twins. After Minnesota scored a run in the bottom of the second, the Royals quickly responded with a four-run top of the third. RBIs from Bobby Wood Jr. and Salvador Perez capped by a two-run homer from Nelson Velasquez. Perez and Velasquez each added solo homers in the fifth in the five-run win. Seth Lugo continued his great season, giving up just one run in six innings and proving a 9-1 and one on the year. He knows the guys he wants to attack. I mean, he knows when some of those walks, I think, are, are him trying to set up a better matchup so uh, he knows how to pitch he knows what he feels like he knows who he feels like he can go after on certain nights and um, you know he did get big outs with guys on base but that's what he's done for us all year. McTwitter's squad is now 35-22 and on the season while the Twins are 30-25. and The Royals look for a split this afternoon. The two teams finish their four-game series at 12-10. Brady Singer 4-2 and with a 2.63 ERA will be on the mound for the Royals this afternoon. A quick shift to college hoops. Ahead of Wednesday night's deadline to withdraw from the NBA draft, Kansas freshman Johnny Furphy announced that he will keep his name in the pool and begin his professional career, foregoing his remaining college eligibility. Furphy averaged nine points and five rebounds in 24 minutes a game in his only season with the Jayhawks. He's projected by many to be a lottery pick in the June draft. One player who did remove his name from the draft was former K-State forward Arthur Kaluma. Averaged 14.5 points, seven rebounds a game for the Wildcats this past season. Remains in the transfer portal. Jerome Tang did say last week that his staff would make an effort to get Kaluma back to K-State should he withdraw, but the decision from Kaluma remains to be seen. Time winding down here at Edmonton. Shooter misses the net with that attempt. And a chance of we want the cup here in Edmonton. Last Canadian team to win it. Montreal back in 1993. Oilers are six wins away. They even this series at two games apiece. The Oilers picked up a 5-2 to two win over the Stars in the Western Conference Finals Wednesday night to even the best of seven series at two games apiece. With a 2-2 tie after one period, Edmonton scored two in the second, added a late goal in the third. That series will move back to Dallas for Game 5 Friday night. Tonight in the Stanley Cup playoffs, the Eastern Conference Finals continue in New York. The Rangers host the Panthers in Game 5. The series is tied at 2. Tonight's game is at 7 o'clock on ESPN. In the NBA playoffs, the Western Conference Finals roll on tonight. The Timberwolves look to keep their season alive again as they trail the Mavericks 3-1. to Tip-off set for 7.30 tonight on TNT in Minnesota. Finally, in sports and Grand Slam tennis, there was another day of no upsets in the top 10 in a highly anticipated match. Top seed Iga Svantec won a hard-fought three-set match over Naomi Osaka. Number three, Coco Goff advanced in straight sets. Number eight, Ange de Brew, one and three on the men's side. Two seed, Dionic Center, and six seed, Andre Rublev, one in straight sets. Third seed, Carlos Alcaraz, and number nine, Stefano Sitsipas picked up four set wins. Rain disruptions have forced a packed day on Thursday. For full scores, visit RolandGarros.com. That's a look at sports on your sports leader in North Central Kansas. Kitty Country 94 and Z96 point through the lake. Sportscast is brought to you by Zachary's Ace Hardware in Beloit. I'm Dusty Donis.